Well, she played the role of lifeguard Shauna Bradley on Home and Away. Stay with me, Larry. But after leaving the Bay in 2002, Kylie Watson disappeared from the small screen. So why did she shy away from the spotlight? Kylie joins us now. G'day, good morning to you. Good morning good to, to you. Good to see you. Oh, thank you, and you too. Now, again. Yeah, again. <laughs> we, we saw each other when you were 13. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And I remember. I was very starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie, when you landed the role on Home and Away, uh, it was back in 99. It was your first acting job. Right? Yes. What was, uh, tell us about the first day on the set. We love these stories. Can I be truthful? Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. It was horrendous. <laughs> no, it was, it was good, but um, it was one of those days where I had to go out on location at Palm Beach and I was thrown in the water for, I think, about 10 hours to do, a, a, I don't know, some kind of life-saving thing. And it was the middle of June, so it wasn't really warm. Needless to say, mm. and by the time I got out of the water, I was a little bit purple, <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a little bit pruny as yeah. well. Yeah, but no, the cast and, and crew were fantastic, and they looked after me, and particularly Kate, who's actually a really good mate of mine now. She right. she took me under her wing, and Kate Ritchie. Kate Ritchie, yeah. yeah so, and, and they all looked after me really well. She must have really big wings, because she everyone who sits <laughs> on this couch is, oh, Kate took me under her wing. Yeah, yeah. people like to claim her as their mate. Yes, yeah, best friend, best yeah. friend. So you're on the show for about three years or so. Yes. Wh why did you leave? And and. Try, try your hand at something else? Um, well, I had never acted before, mm. um, Home and Away, and so I guess I just... Um, I thought I'd try and ride the wave as long as I could, but um, I'd always wanted to do something else, such as interior design or graphic design. I wasn't quite sure. And um, I tried to continue acting for a while, um, but as an actor, I think you certainly need something else to back you up. Yeah. So but it makes sense. And that yeah. thing for you is interior design. That's correct. And now you're doing that very successfully. Yeah, Tell us I love about it. the move from acting. Did you, were you onto your interior acting sort of thing and then looking back, going, looking at home and away, going, oh, I could have done that a couple of years? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Look, I was, I was thinking about doing it even before I started the show. And in fact, when I got the role, um, I'd said to my mum, right, that's it. I'm going to uni. I'm going to study. Um, it just seemed like such a, a difficult path to go down doing the whole acting thing. Um, but look, yeah, it is something that I ha had always wanted to do. So I decided to do it and um, hence here I am. Okay. And do your hair's has grown since then, hasn't it? A little it? bit, do you think? Yeah. Hey, you know, you've spoken publicly about coming out in Cherie magazine yeah. this week. Was it difficult for you to keep your, you know, your sexuality to yourself? Were you, were you on Home and Away? Is that something that you tried to do? Um, no, 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 not um, consciously, no. Um, look, I chose to do the story with Cherry Magazine because I wanted to talk about my transition from being in the spotlight, yeah. I, I guess, as an actor, to being an interior designer. And um, I think when... Uh, no, it, it wasn't something that I thought about because it was my personal life, so it wasn't really relevant to what mm. I was doing. Yeah. And then once you make that decision to make the leap and, and do the newspaper stories and let it be known, is the transition extra difficult because of who you are and because you are in the spotlight? No one really recognises me anymore, so it's I'm the no hair. <laughs> but was, it, was it a consideration for you in how you, how you deal with this overall? Um, look, to be really frank, I'm not looking for acceptance or approval from anyone in the public, so I'm really lucky enough that I have that from my family and friends, and that's really all that matters to me. So um, as far as, like I said, with, with the story with Cherry Magazine, it was more about what, what I've been doing since Home and Away, and it just so happens that I identify as a gay lady as well, so it's not really... Yeah. The focus for me, do you know so, what I mean? So what was the impetus behind doing the magazine? You were a fan of the magazine or you wanted to put something um, on the record? Yeah, look, I just like to... Um you know, the main thing with business, I think, is getting out there and marketing and, and um, oh, so working. So they gave your so interior design business a plug? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Which is www.kwdesign.com.au. Okay, good. <laughs> That's great. So, um, yeah, I, look, you know, it was just a new market that I thought that I'd target, to be honest with you. That was really the main reason. I love that. That's great. It's all about the marketing. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Is, hey. it, is it all colour swatches now or will you, will you try and dabble back in acting or it's really the carpets and the swatches that's got you? Uh, look, it's probably the luxury motor yachts that's got me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I design everything from um, residential through to commercial, hospitality, I mean bars, cafes, uh, office blocks, <coughs> things like that, <coughs> um, right through to luxury motor yachts, which of course, undoubtedly, I love. So mm. that's an area that I'd like to continue specialising in. Yes or no, purple carpet, yellow and red backdrop. Just, just <laughs> off the top of... Um, <laughs> look, it's fun. It's Retro, retro's coming right retro. back in retro. again. Retro, retro. That's <laughs> a bit like oh, us, yeah, yeah. Retro. <laughs> oddly, enough, oddly enough, that's not what we were going for, retro. Oh, but good. glad we've okay. achieved it. Hey, great to see you. You too. Thanks really. a lot, and guys. And good luck with the, the business and everything. Say Thanks. hi to your mum for me. I will do. Hi, mum. that's not already taken, that. <laughs> uh, if you'd like Thank to read know. more about Carly Watson, uh, check out this month's edition of Cherry Magazine. Okay, a little later on this morning.